one of India's most popular music festivals, the Kasoli Rhythm and Blues Festival, does more than just spread good music. The fest is the brainchild of Genesis Foundation, an organization that aims to facilitate medical treatment for critically ill, underprivileged children. On the show today, we're joined by Prema Sagar, the founding trustee of Genesis Foundation, to share with us some of the work that they have been doing and how this fest really goes a long way towards that as well. Prema, thanks so much for joining us. You've really built up this property over the last few years. Everyone looks forward to it and to that trip away to Kasoli. Many corporates also, um, of course, attend. Tell us all about you know, how it started and how you came up with this idea. Well, you know, when we started the fundraising ideas, the idea came up that we shan't sh look at something that has been done like art fest and things like that, but look at something where uh, it's going to be a little different. So because we started this some years ago, at that time there were very few festivals. And when we look at the children who we are treating, they are laughing and happy because they don't know, they are so innocent. And they don't know that they are critical, that they are living between life and death. And so we decided that we will always be smiling. And we always believe that each of those children will survive. So many people felt that I keep going up to Kasoli, and why don't you do something in Kasoli? So it came up with the idea of bringing the Himalayas to the music and the music to the, to the Himalayas. And I think that has been such a great um, opportunity of having really nice people who are coming up there because it's not by advertising and it becomes a, like a larger family which has just become a rolling family that comes up regardless they know that it is the Easter weekend and it's time for the Kasoli Rhythm and Blues Festival. Prema, Genesis Foundation also, as, as you mentioned, aims to help many children uh, with some of uh, the funds that are raised through the fest. So tell us a little bit more about the foundation, the causes it supports as well, and, and how this fest has really come to be an important event on the calendar in that sense. Well, the story has gone back many years when we lost a child. And in that, uh, what happened was I went to Mother Teresa's home to work with children. And I saw that the critically ill children needed a lot of in time and I think even just being with them. And it started with two little children. And then I went on to more orphanages and then I realized that there were many more children when I was going to the hospitals, to Ames, to Gangaram, etc. I realized that there were so many and the parents used to be just walking up and down in the hospital wondering where they're going to get the money from. So that's how it started. And uh, we s did decide that we can't do anything and everything so we focused on cancer, heart, thalassemia, and these are the three that we are going forward with because we are become so well ne connected and networked within doctors, hospitals, and institutions. And so we do want to work only in these three areas going forward. We used to do five. We are going forward with these three. Prima, do you also feel that corporates now are more giving today than they were earlier? You've, you've had so many prominent attendees, uh, even celebrities. Uh, Dia Mirza, of course, a spokesperson there uh, for the event and for the foundation. Do you feel that people today are, are more eager uh, than ever before to do their bit? <laughs> Abha, it's a very tough uh, question to answer. Um, over years, I would say things have definitely improved, whether it is volunteers or whether it is on giving. But I must say that a lot of the companies are supporting education. I find very, very few of them who are looking for health care. And this is an issue because 
if you're a parent and you're walking up and down in the hospital to think i they just want a chance that their child will live and so i do feel that a lot of people don't really understand what it means to lose a child and how little one can do and they can survive as i said is that the children who have uh, come with heart 100% of them survive and in the areas of cancer and thalassemia as you know there is a 60 70% um it that it would be successful but you can never say when it comes back what happens and so you you don't know but we do understand that no matter what happens you got a chance and your chance was once to know that your child will live or not and that is where we come from so going back i think the country needs definitely to think about the people who are losing children do you know that children are born with cancer in today's life and there's nowhere to go there are parents who tell us coming from madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh they say that the answer they get from the doctors is go to aims in delhi it is impossible that one hospital to serve a whole country because they don't have the money and they don't know where to go fair enough uh, prema so many uh, things to take away from from what you just said also uh, you know since we have a little bit of time left i, I want to also get a flavor of the festival itself uh, things uh, that one should uh, uh, look forward to any highlights you want to share with us uh, for the weekend coming up so the event is it started with rhythm and blues but we also have a bollywood <laughs> i think the the flavor of people is to start in a nice relaxed way we at the baikonur resort and we cannot take more than 550 people and we won't take more than 550 uh it is a complete holiday extended weekend uh we are very blessed with uh, sponsorships that have been supporting us and the people who come to us once again and again the bands are very different uh there are some part of rhythm and blues there is the international band frisky pints who have uh, going around the world about keeping happiness so they are also there then we have Leslie Lewis and Shilpa Rao so it's all about a build up and it is all about enjoying life in a relaxed manner more you'll be surprised to know that most of the people don't take out their phones except to take photographs and there are lots of young people who are doing professional photography and they are volunteers so they don't even have to worry about whether they are in a picture or not and we do a lot of uh, fun stuff together with with all of them and nobody thinks too much about uh, the children being treated because they know that they have supported already they have donated already and all this will go for a great cause and i've seen some of those smiling uh, faces as well uh, uh, and the kind of impact uh, the fest makes prema so so definitely a lot of positivity that that one can feel from the event what what's your favorite act what are you looking forward to the most this year well i must tell you that when i was back many many years in university and i wanted to be a dj and my father was an in the indian air force and he said i'll throw you out of the house if you want to do music and i never got the chance to be a dj i never got a chance to do that so i love all the music whether it's classical pop whether it's rock whether it's anything on music i just love it and i'm just so happy to have that opportunity to live it in this time so we do this also in goa and we also do something called the ceo sing and they are just such fun they were probably bathroom singers actually most of them and today they sing on the stage so uh, you can imagine what music means to me and to everybody who's become part of it 
and it's become an extended family because everyone helps everyone. They are CEOs who uh, have become so, such good friends that they, uh, as I remember, Nirain Chaudhary's daughter, the Nirain from Yum Restaurants, his daughter was critically ill, and everybody you know, sort of supported them, and they came together in whichever way they could. And I just love doing this kind of thing, is that bringing the right people together, enjoying life, saving, helping. And today, we have CEOs, we go with them to the hospitals for them to see the children, how they are, how they were, and how they are. And on our website, we put the videos of the children who've um, been treated and how they feel and how the parents feel, how the child feels. So we do not worry too much about how many children we are treating. It is about how many have lived. And so uh, that's where it is. And that's where it will go. Hopefully many, many more, I hope. Prema, so good talking to you today. Anything else you'd like to say just as we wind up? And of course, look forward to the fest. Well, no, I think this is mostly it. I do want to say that there's so many wonderful volunteers and so many donors and so many supporters and so many people. I don't know where to start and where to end. But um, I think that I always say that generations become volunteers. If they d today, here and now, there is anybody who's a volunteer, generations benefit from it because I so learned this from my mother when we used to go to the Blind Relief Association uh, near the Oberoi Hotel in Delhi, where every Sunday we had to go and read books for the uh, blind children. And I think that is so very important. So if we have to spread the word, the spread the word is you know, just to help other people who don't have the abilities that we have. Prema Sagar, thank you so much for joining us uh, on the show today. It was great talking to you and hearing about all the good work uh, uh, that the foundation is uh, doing and also about uh, all of the people that are involved in really making a difference. That's all from us on the show for now. Wishing you